Hello everyone, my name is Javin and this is my YouTube channel and today I have a special delivery straight from Japan. Oh wait, no that's not it. Here we go. That's not it either. <clears throat> okay, I think I got it here. Here it is, a booster box straight from Japan. And this set is equivalent to the uh, Fates Collide English set from the X and Y series. But translated directly from Japanese to English, the name is like Awakening of Psychic Kings or something. It doesn't translate very well. It... Okay, but here is the box itself. This was actually a uh, Valentine's present from my girlfriend, so shout out to her. Thank you very much. Um, just took a while to arrive, obviously, because it's coming from Japan. Flipped it over, guys, and it says for sale in Japan only, so uh, we're going to have to send this back. Guess we don't want to break any rules here. Uh, I love opening up Japanese cards. Haven't opened up any in a while. The last booster box was uh, this one, the Shining Legends one um, that we opened up. That was a lot of fun um, to open up there. Go getting inside now. Uh, down in the comments below, see here's our booster packs. Let me know if you guys have ever opened up any Japanese um, packs and what you think of the Japanese cards. I personally really love them. All right, so let's get all these packs out here. Look at all those packs. So we are going to be opening up 10 of the packs up here first. This is 10 packs, it looks like a lot. Um, they're a little bit different uh, than the English packs, as you can probably tell. And if you know anything about opening uh, Japanese packs, you want to use a pair of scissors, but I want to try getting one of these packs open. I've actually never tried um, using my hands to get one of these open, so everyone says it's always really hard. <clears throat> uh, that wasn't that bad. Jeez. Everyone just has weak fingers, I guess. All right, so we're going to get this thing open. Start off with our first pack, if we can get it out. All right. So how does this pack trick go? It's like, um, so the pack trick is you take one card from the back, put it to the front, and not every pack, unlike the English, is guaranteed to have a rare inside or anything. Um, so, yeah. But if you do have a rare, it would be at the very end. And at the end, then we have this uh, Zygarde form. I don't know what form that is, though. For the rest of these packs, I'm just going to cut a little spot here to make it easier because it is kind of hard, I guess. Pack number two of half of our booster box. All right, let's go here. Let's see what we can get. I love the bags on the Japanese cards too. They feel so good. It feels so good. It feels right. Got Rotom. We have a Mandibuzz, I think. Um, another one. It's hard to remember the names when you can't see them too. All right, and I think this is the last card here. Oh, oh my goodness. Already, look at that. We have a Mega EX Altaria. Wow, I do not have this one in English. Look at how beautiful that looks. Just, it is beautiful. The shine is unmatched. Uh, the English cards just don't shine like that. All right, so now we're on our third pack. Already got a hit there. Pretty happy with that. One to the front. Feels so thin though, having only five cards. All right, we got our Jigglypuff. Our uh, little guy in, in Blob. Other guy. Oh, a break card. Look at that. Two packs in a row. Was not expecting that there at the end. Uh, wow. Almost star break. And the, the break came at the end, too. So that's something I wasn't expecting since there aren't reverse hollows in Japanese. Well, that's a pretty good start, to be honest. Was not expecting so many hits right off the bat. All right. Let's see if we can't have a few more pulls in this box. That would be awesome. Bronze Zor, I think. Um... We got Bronzong, Bronzor, Grumpig. Oh, and a Hollow Kiram. Nice. That is three packs in a row. Pack number four with that Algazam staring menacingly at us. All right. Let's get inside here. See what we can get. I'd love any full art. If I could just get one full art out of this box, I would be happy, to be honest. That's all I really want is just one full art. And our last card is a Omastar. Kind of going with our Omastar break. There you go. I kind of prefer the like English pack size. I like having the like 10 or 11 cards that you get in the English packs. Makes them just feel like you're opening something a little bit more substantial. But you know what? The Japanese cards look so nice. Can't complain. We have a Weezing. And at the end we have... Boom! A Hollow Lucar! Look at all these hits. Oh my goodness. All right, I just feel like I've opened so many English packs and haven't gotten anything good lately. So going through, I don't even know how to react. Don't even know how to react to getting hollows and EXs anymore. Got this weird uh, trainer card. Don't know what it is. We got, uh, got the uh, Snorlax here. That is a uh, cute artwork. All uh, right, we got the, I think the, I don't know. I don't even know these Pokemon. 
it's like a, the evolution of Wormadam or something. I don't know. Kabutops. I know the first gen. And uh, that is the last card there. We'll have three boosters packs left. All right. Let's see if we can't get another pull out of one of these three packs. Pretty happy so far with the pulls. Gotten some nice hollows. Got a break. Got a mega EX card already. And at the end, there we have another hollow. Another one. A Zygarde. Wow, we are getting the hollows after hollow. Let's take a look here. In our first 10 packs, um, we're not even done. That's our first eight packs. And we already have three hollows, a mega, and a break. Wow, those pulls are uh, coming through for us. Oh, Alakazam, I'd love to get the secret rare Alakazam from this set. You can see I have the two other secret rares from the other sets that are kind of like the secret rare from this set. But, uh, oh, there's an N. I wonder if that's worth anything in Japan. I know it's worth a few dollars here in the U.S. because it's used in decks, but I don't know. Don't know about Japan. Oh, there's Lord Helix. And then at the end, we have the regular Altaria EX. So we now, oh my goodness, we have now pulled the family. I don't know what the pull rates are in Japanese, but I feel like we're doing pretty good. I feel like we're doing pretty awesome so far. So let's take a look in here. This is our last pack today. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic going. If we cannot, that's okay too, because we got so many pulls already in this first half. How can you... Say no to the polls. All right, we got a Snivy, a Kabutops, and at the end we have a regular Aerodactyl, but I love that artwork. He's terrorizing the city. Now that was awesome. That was a this the first half of this booster box. I'm going to be opening up the second half later in the week, so stay tuned for that if you want to see more polls. Um, but I think we did really awesome. All right, let's do a little recap here. We have our Kiram Hollow, our Lucario Hollow. I love that Alakazam there in the background too, just staring menacingly into Lucario's soul. We have a Zygarde Hollow, and then we got an Omastar Break. Break card there, I'll turn it this way so you can see it that way. And then we also got two EX pulls. We got the Altaria, and we also got the Mega Altaria. Wow. Oh, that was six out of ten packs had poles in them for us today. Can't wait to open the other half. Hopefully there is a full art hiding in there. We will find out. This has been it for the video today. If you enjoyed, remember, go to that comment section. Go hit that like button. Go do whatever you have to do to make me happy.